Hello everybody, how are you guys today? It is Crafty Jackie and I am here with a few things, a little haul. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos in the next few days and uh, probably a lot more in the future because my days at Yogi are coming down to an end. We're home now and we're going to go back on Friday. Uh, we're selling... We're going to have Thanksgiving out at Yogi on Saturday, and everybody everybody's excited. It's kind of funny. They're more excited about this than they've been about anything for a long time. And they're going to have turkeys and mashed potatoes and gravy, and people have already been listing what they're going to bring. I was going to make mashed potatoes, but if there's, they're supplying them, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I, I was thinking about it today. I could make the corn casserole that I normally make, but... Um, I don't think it would be good heated up. I don't know. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I can make it in the crock pot. And uh, so, oh, my neighbor is outside. Yeah, he wants to be talking to myself. What else is now? Mine's doing something goofy. So, anyway. Um, I wanted to show you a couple more dies I just got. Uh, I got this one the other day. And I have no clue why I ordered it. I think it was a mistake. But if it wasn't, if I mean, either way, I know what I can do with it. I know what I can use them for. And then I just got this one. Yes. So, um, yeah, I have a project I'm going to be doing. I'm in, uh, in a, I guess it's kind of a collaboration thing. And uh, the first video will be up, uh, let's see, what's this one? I'll probably put it up Friday before I go to back to Yogi. And uh, so anyway, what I have here is, besides those things, um, I have some stuff from Dollar Tree. I have a picture at the end, and I actually had a couple more things I forgot to put on there. I got a big, one of those bigger scarecrows for Audit Yogi, and um, uh, something else. But um, I think that uh, I'm drawing a blank here. I got a, a scarecrow and I had gotten something else. I got a little bag of flour to make fried green tomatoes because it's going to cool off. So toma tomatoes are going to start slowing down and I got a lot of big ones left. So so anyway, um, I went to Dollar Tree and then I went again today and I just picked up a few things. That I was, I'm looking for those Eiffel Towers and the balloon animals for my granddaughter uh, for Christmas. And I did not find either of those at the one I went to today. I went to the one in Valparaiso. But um, the other day I went to the one in Portage. And uh, that's pretty that, that one's fairly close to the Yogi Bear. Um, and I found quite a few things I was looking for. Well, I mean, you can find these everywhere. I bought two of these pumpkins, the Carvables, because the two youths transplanted did a really pretty... Um, painted pumpkins they look like they're embroidered and I could not get online today to see what I needed I knew I needed regular paints but I needed another kind of paint and I couldn't find it or I couldn't remember what it was and I of course got on afterwards so I'll have to get it next time I'm in Walmart but they will that will be a project they look like they're embroidered they're really cool I found these, which I hadn't seen anyone else haul, and they're the, like, mermaid scales letters. I got a J and a P for Jackie Phillips. I'm going to have my initial all over the place here. And then I found, finally, some storage boxes, which I'm in desperate need of. I'm just going to find places to put the storage I need uh, another shelf. I got one, a couple of them at my uh, old house that I think I can grab. So I got three of them. 
I don't care what color they are, just so you can see through them. I don't care if you can see through them. I've got, I have been going crazy unpacking. I have got so many containers full of lotion and creams and <laughs> lotion. It's kind of scary, actually. Um, I got two boxes of Kleenex because we were all out of our stash. And I've been having a sinus infection or whatever. I've been coughing real bad. So um, I've been having a real hard time breathing the last couple of days. The mold is like way in the red. It's to the very end. It's real bad. So I've been kind of, I tried really hard except for going, but a few things I had to get at the store. I tried really hard to stay inside today. They had bread for a quarter loaf, and I only bought one. Actually, not, I mean, it depends on how stale it is. We can eat it for sandwiches, but if not, I figured it'd be good for, uh, uh, yeah. Um, French toast, but I, my mind was already wandering. I could make uh, stuffing with it. Hmm. I don't know. Put it in a Menards bag. It's easier to carry. Okay, let's see. And then, actually, one of them has already gone. Me and Ron ate it. I got a candy corn. It was the mix. They had little pumpkins in it, too. Yeah. We've been doing some damage on candy corn. So I got another one of these. I like these because my grandson can eat them. I think I've told you before. There is no nut products. They've not been by any nut products. And uh, I need to buy my bag for Halloween. But I really like that he, he can eat it. It is the Coastal Bay Infection. And they had these, and so I bought two. I was smart about two of them this time. The watermelon twist. I love these things. And I also like the crushed orange ones. That was my game. It was very bad of me to get that. Mm. I needed these for here. When I went to do my toenails, I didn't get to nails yet, but when I went to do my toenails, I had no cotton balls or anything. And I don't really use cotton balls that much for anything, so I just bought these. I actually use a wipe, like a facial wipe, and <laughs> put the acetone on that. I didn't want to do um, this is a repeat buy. These were, for me, perfect uh, on my floor. So they're wet sweeper cloths. They're thin. They're not the real thick ones. But I'm always, like, going over the floor all the time. So for me, they work really well. I bought three of these. One of them is at the camper, though, of the flushable toddler wipes. There's 32 I might take those out to camp the camper because <coughs> I bought another three pack at Walmart today. I figured while I was there, <coughs> and I think that was like two something for three packs of um, 40. I don't know. Um, I bought these. I saw a couple of people haul them the um, lavender scent boosters. It doesn't really smell like lavender. It smells kind of, smells pretty, but it doesn't smell like lavender. I should just break down and buy the good stuff. I don't know why I keep buying it. I just always pick them up because I'm there. I bought a package of the flushable wipes to keep in my purse. Looks like I got a really bad wipe issue, right? Not really. I'm just, I use these for all kinds of things, but I do not like to be in the bathroom. And not have a wipe. I don't like it. I bought a bar of Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter. One bar. And I bought a big bar of the Oatmeal and Coconut Soap. Which, these are really good. And they last a really long. I had the lemon before and they lasted a really long time. Every once in a while, I like to use parcel. 
And I got a Colgate 25% uh, free baking soda and peroxide whitening. Brisk, brisk mint. So. And I got a heavy duty magnet. Oh, magnet clip that I'm going to use to hang my uh, calendar on my refrigerator when I get one. And I bought two of these. One I left at the camper, and one is here. It's the coconut water and mango dial. I really didn't need any more here, but I was pretty sure. I don't think I'll need another one there this year. If I do, I'll take, take one out. It's hard to have a summer home in that, too, because it's, if any of you have, you know it's, Dragging stuff back and forth, back and forth. And I know I have a, I know I have some of these that I bought last year. Um, oh, come on, don't do that to me. But I bought some more, and I, again, the two youths did an adorable thing. I don't know if I'll make it exactly like they did, but I just love these little skeletons. I don't know why. They also have little tiny heads, you know, skulls that are like this, and I love them too. But I don't, I couldn't think of anything to do with them. These I could do something with. I just couldn't think of anything. My brain was not functioning. And I bought twelve of these little plastic cups uh, to do cooking DIYs because. You know, that way I can have the stuff all measured out in the cups and just like on the cooking shows. Yeah. It looks so much more professional that way. And I bought a glitter glue in ice purple. And I might try using this for what I wanted to, what they did their uh, pumpkin with. I'm going to try it. I'll see how it looks before I proceed. Now, I don't usually find any books anymore, but I did actually find two, two of them. One of them is called Cleopatra's Shadows. And I love stuff about, you know, the Roman times and the Egyptian times. It sold for 27 bucks, 32.50 in Canada. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, it's really warm in this room. I should have the fan on and the light. But anyway, I, it sounds like a really good book. It's fiction. And, you know, I like historic type things anyway. And then this one, I was going to sit and read stuff to run every day. It's by Ben Thompson. This one's by Emily Coleman. Um, and this one is called Guts and Glory, the American Civil War. 100% not boring. Ron and I are really big Civil War buffs. And this has just got like all kind of little tiny stories, you know, little tiny things. So I can just read something and so I kind of kind of like that. Alrighty. I guess I should get my chair off the bag here. I'm going to untie this one because these Menard bags are great. I should just take my own bags into the Dollar Tree. I hate their bags. I hate the way they bag the stuff. Sometimes I have to literally say, would you please wrap stuff? Sometimes they'll say, oh. You know, that they will. I, I've seen other people when they're hauling their stuff. Stuff's not wrapped. Um, I found these. They are a two-pack of eight-inch wreaths. I've never seen these small ones before. So I picked them up uh, for I don't know why. Because I thought, actually, I wish I would picked up more. Because now I'm thinking right now I could have used five of them. Wait, one, two, six of them. But that's all right. 
Uh, maybe I'll find these pearls. I've never seen them ever before. And these are Loving Pets, Nature's Choice, tested in the USA, made in the U.S. or whatever. Satisfies desire to chew, soy-free, gluten-free, wheat-free, buffalo lung steaks. Yeah, I broke him off a piece. He did not eat it. I may get, and it's still sitting on the floor at the camper, but I may break off another piece and see if he eats it. All right. I got this. Because I thought it was very pretty. And <coughs> um, it's brown frosted and it's got the little leaf here and I'll use it somewhere for fall. What I usually do is I will put my fall stuff out <coughs> until the beginning of October. And then I will take some stuff down and add, uh, and then get out all my Halloween stuff. And then, <coughs> oh, I wish I had brought my tea in here. Mm. And then when uh, Halloween's over, I will pack all the Halloween stuff away and then I'll uh, bring out my Thanksgiving actual Thanksgiving stuff and, you know, more fall stuff if I need it. That's how I normally do it. I did not last year because I had that foot surgery. That foot surgery, yes. I did find one of these finally. I was very excited. But I'm not sure if I'm going to just use it like this. I think I'm going to use this for the center of my wreath I'm going to make. Hopefully I'll be doing that too. Okay. Um, I found stretched canvases. I got two of the four by six. And I got two of the five by sevens. Okay. Oh. And my last bag here is from today. I got one of these wreaths because I keep seeing a lot of, I've had these before, I've seen a lot of wreaths I can make with that. Uh, I got two children's witches hats. This one I'm going to use for my daughter and this one for me uh, for some wreaths I'm making. And I forgot to buy Splenda, so I had to buy some of that. I bought it, but I left it at the camp. And these work great in our toilet because we have really smelly well water. So I like those. And I bought this to mix with vinegar and use for cleaning. It's supposed to get the, uh, what do you call it? Like the uh, mineral buildup I have on my in my shower and everything, it's it's not the uh, like rust looking stuff. It's like white mineral. And then I got a pack of the Alcon AAAs that I would use in flashlights. And they did have some of the new candles. The old Williamsburg one honestly didn't smell very good. You could hardly smell it. But I bought two of the. Luminescence, I hope they're good. They smell really good in the jar. And it's called Cracklin' Fire. It smells just like a campfire. I will miss it when we're not out there anymore. Even if we don't have a fire every day, somebody's got, you know, people have fires and you can smell it. And I just love that. And so I believe that is all I have. And, um... So next time I see you, I will be showing you some, something else interesting. I'm telling you, something good's coming up. So you take it easy. Remember, 
I love you long time. Stay crafty. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.